What is going on everybody? Welcome to another Pie Game tutorial video. In this video, we're going to be rounding out uh, the last few touches to our game. So, this is our game here, and we just have a couple of things that we want to change. First of all, um, our barrier sometimes gets a little too close to our enemy tank, and it kind of disables our enemy tank from actually doing anything. So we can either shorten it or stop it from getting so close. The other problem that we have is I'm able to uh, lower my power, right? We're, we're in the negatives there. And we can also go all the way up into you know well over to 100%. Now in the negatives, it basically acts uh, no different. So uh, we could go to like negative like 85 probably and maybe get a hit on it. Not really. Um, but anyway, we need to we need to fix that. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, x this out, and those are the two major things that we want to change. So first of all, the barrier height that is that x location, uh, or, or rather the uh, location of it, not the height, because um, we're gonna just change the location of it. So um, to fix that, obviously, you know, we might need to do like some more playing around, but um, you know, this gives us anywhere from Basically, this knocks off 20%, okay? And what I want to go ahead and do is say, or let's see, so it's plus, and then plus or minus, so then we can really make it only waver by like maybe 10 or 20%, because um, this is that middle point plus a random, and then this number, so we could do like 0 0.1 or something like that, and I think that would give us what we're looking for. Uh, basically like a smaller number so it's like a smaller range anyway so that might help uh, help there um, and then the other thing was the power so what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down um, here and basically this is where we uh, change the power right this little block of code um, so what we're gonna do is just right underneath fire power plus equals power change we're gonna have a couple of quick if and elif so we're going to first say if fire power is greater than 100, what do we want to do? Well, we want to say, nope, it's 100. So we're just going to say fire power equals 100. Simple enough. L if fire power is less than 1, i.e. 0 or attempting less, we're going to say, no, that's not right. We're going to say power equals 1. Um, and that's basically it. So now we can save and run that and hit play and now we'll see that we're able to hold this key but we stop right at 100 and then conversely we do the same thing and we can um, you know go all the way down and stop at one <laughs> uh, quite fun anyway um, so those are two things uh, that absolutely needed to be fixed, fixed. Now, um, obviously we could, you know, increase the graphics, maybe add terrain to the game and all kinds of uh, fun stuff. And I think at this point, I'm gonna leave that um, to y'all to do. Uh, the next thing I really wanna cover and make sure we cover in this series is uh, 3D. So 3D in video games is obviously a big deal. So everything we've coded so far has been uh, just pure 2D. And with 3D, there's actually two variations. You've got like pseudo 3D, and then you've got like actual 3D. So I want to talk a little bit about both of those, show you pseudo 3D or 2.5D, um, show you a few things about that, and basically teach you why you don't want to do it, and then, uh, or at least do it on your own. And then I'll show you uh, an actual 3D engine that we can use with uh, Pygame and Python. So anyways, some exciting uh, videos to run out of this series. So stay tuned for those, and thank you for watching.